everyone. How's everyone's Comic Con? How's everybody doing? Look at this. Welcome. We're going to do uh, an art demonstration with Agnes here. I'd like to introduce you to this very talented artist. Can you let us know what we're going to be working on today? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. <laughs> It's <laughs> the first thing I can think of. Sorry. And you're going to do a watercolor? Yeah. Which is great. I have yet to see a watercolor demonstration up here. Uh, hi. So anyone that wants to join and watch as we do this demonstration, we're going to do like some questions later on as well. I think you guys can see over my head. Am I in the way for anyone? No? OK. Just checking. Oh, there's a little screen here. Are you good on your setup? I'm good. Yeah. All right, can great. I start? You can get started, Sweet. yeah. So we're going to do Wonder Woman, and you're going to start with, are you penciling it in first? Yeah, I'm going to pencil it in first so I know exactly where the face parts go, where the eyes goes. And I know it's not showing up on the screen for everyone in the pencil, but we'll get there and it'll get a little bit darker. It'll be like it appears like magic. Hmm. Yeah. It is. It is very much like magic. I can't. You're so fast. I am so impressed. <laughs> All right. Well, let's start talking about some of the work that you do. Uh, what are you working on right now that you can talk about? I'm working on DC Supergirls out of the bottle, uh, the digital first Dom um, comic. Have you guys heard of DC Superhero Girls yet? It's, it's fantastic. Everyone should check it out. And is there a particular character you enjoy working on more than others? Um, I really like working with Harley Quinn. I think she is hilarious. And she is kind of the star of the comic right now. She causes all the shenanigans. Harley Quinn's great. Anyone else like Harley Quinn here? Woo, we got some woos in there. Look at that. Oh, we already moved to inking. Oh, my god. She's a magician. Wizardry. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. So I looked up some of your other work that is not with us, and there was, um, was it Little Battlestar Galactica? Uh, yeah, I did some covers for uh, Battlestar Galactica and a few other titles for Dynamite a few years back. I want to tell you how confused I was by it because the Cylons are so terrifying, but you made them so cute. Ah, oh, thank you. I like making things cute that should not be cute. It brings right there joy to my heart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she understands us. That's good. Um, look at that. God, these characters look so wonderful. I don't know. Um, I know I asked if you guys had checked out DC Superhero Girls, but they have just such a wonderful, youthful look, and they're still so powerful. Um, is there anything that you like to add that's a little bit more of your style that's in there? Actually, uh, the really cool thing about the Digital First comic, the girls are actually creating their own comics in it. Oh, and wow. The cool thing is that Supergirl's comic, I actually got to draw it in my regular cutesy style, which was the cutest thing ever because I got to draw a comet and I got to design a bat unicorn called a batacorn. A batacorn. And it was super cute. I want to so see this. So Batgirl has a batacorn that she rides and <gasps> Supergirl has comet looking the cutest it can possibly look. That's amazing. I'm so excited for that. It's, it's really funny, and it's really cute, and, it, and it's kind of sad. It's adorable. I think everyone should read it. Because you don't understand, a moment ago I, I looked, and it was just black and white, and we've already got color going on. Practice makes perfect. Look I've been doing this. these all day, so I got the speed down now. Well, do you want to tell us about the tools that you're using for this? Because you, know, you just did the inking, and you're already going over the color, and you're not bleeding. Yeah, yeah, anyway. yeah. I'm doing the watercolors right now, and I'm just laying down the base colors for everything. So I'm adding the yellow where the yellow goes. I'm adding the red where the red goes. So I'm just laying everything down. I'm going to add a little bit of shading afterwards. But I really like watercolors. They're fun to play around with. They're very organic. Right. And what was it the for the inking that you used? So the, the like so it doesn't bleed once you add the watercolor. 
I use a Pentel brush pen and it has India ink and India ink tends to be uh, quite waterproof. So I lay it down first and if I let it dry, then it doesn't bleed. But if you use India ink and you don't let it dry, well, guess what? You're going to make yourself a nice big muddy mess. So you want to make sure it dries Got before it. you put anything over it. Sometimes you want to put it afterwards. I like putting it before. So I should tell you guys, we um, at the end of this, we're going to give this away to whoever can answer a trivia question correctly first. Hopefully. I don't know if that excites anyone here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get to get any of these, so I'm very jealous of whoever gets to, to take this home. Yeah. All right, so you're fun. doing DC Superhero Girls. Yep. Uh, and you enjoy working on Harley the most. Is there a character you have yet to work on that you would like to? Uh, it would be fun to draw a hot girl. I haven't had a chance to draw a hot girl yet. I know yeah. that's a bit of a random one, but I think she might be fun to draw. I think I would like drawing her wings because she has pretty cool wings. And then do you have a preference of doing superheroes over villains? Um, I do like drawing these superheroes because they're very fun and whimsical. Um, mind you, the, the supervillains are quite fun too. Of course. But I think I'm just a huge fan of a lot of the characters, so... Like, Wonder Woman's one of my favorites, too. And then there's Harley's one of my favorites. So it just keeps going because I think Harley's always going to be one of the best. Mm, look at those eyebrows. Maker. I like characters that are troublemakers because I can get pretty annoying. If you know me, <laughs> like, personally, I like to be a little bit on the more annoying side. <laughs> just comes so naturally. Are you okay if we, we uh, take a couple of questions? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Is there anyone it. that has a question about the process, about the characters? Anybody? All right, here. Um, when did you, like, start drawing? That's fantastic. Tell us about your journey into the comic world. My journey, my origin story. Actually, I have a really unique origin story, which parents are like, I don't know if, if that's the way I should teach my kids, but I am actually born in Poland, and I immigrated to Canada at a really young age. And while waiting to be able to go to school, my mom sat me down in front of the TV, and she went, entertain yourself. I'm like, all right. And <laughs> she gave me a pen and paper, and I went off on drawing. I'm actually pretty much done this. Sorry, I like whoever gets this will get my my fingerprint right there, so you could clone me afterwards, just <laughs> in case. But um, that's actually how I fell in love with drawing and how I fell in love with cartoons. And then I was introduced to a comic book, and I went, "Oh my god, this is like the coolest thing ever!" And then I was hooked on comic books shortly after that. Did I know I wanted to be a comic book artist? Uh, not really. I thought I wanted to be an animator until I took animation in school and only to realize I really hate animating. And then so I took... It's always a good thing to find out. Yeah, you, you got to learn. Yeah. You got to learn. You know what? Sometimes you got to do the long way. And then I took traditional animation to learn I still hate animating. <laughs> so I was attending comic conventions since I was like 15 and all of a sudden around 18 it kind of clicked. I went, why not comic books? I, it involves changing the panels, and it ke kept my interest. And then I started pursuing a career in comics. And now I'm a comic book artist, and I draw pretty pictures. Well, hopefully pretty pictures. How did you get your start at DC? Like, if, if that's your journey to comics, how did you end up with us? Um, persistence. Got it. I, I kept showing my portfolio to DC over and over and over and over again. And I kept taking their criticism, and I kept working on it. And then I finally got a chance from my editor, Marie, to uh, do a little DC Supergirl sample. And I passed the test. And I got hired on um, the first Digital First, which is uh, past times at Superhero High. And I got rehired for Out of the Bottle, which is what I'm currently working on. That's really exciting. Yeah, it's, it's That's fun. That's awesome. Let me sign this, because I realized I didn't even sign this baby. Here you got to sign it. And that really says my name, trust me. <laughs> that looks amazing. We still have a bit of time, but please, let's give Agnes yeah, a hand. Yeah, I can hang out still. Look at this, yeah. Sorry, I, I'm too fast for my own good right now. <laughs> I figure out how to get this out of here. So we'll let that dry, and then we can yes. do some more uh, questions. Anybody yeah. have any questions? Any questions? All um, right, 
Here, let me come over to you. What's up? Uh, which character do you find the most difficult to draw? That's a great question. Which character do you find most difficult to draw? That's a really good question. Who? I don't know. They're all, they're they're all about the same difficulties. Uh, I sometimes forget uh, Katana's outfit. That I do sometimes still forget. So I need to pull up references because I forget where some of her lines go. So maybe in that sense, her. But yeah, I don't really have one. I'm going to say her only because of her outfit right now. All right. And then you have some personal projects as well that I read about. Was it with Zombie? Oh, yeah. Yumi and Zombie. Yumi it, and Zombie. It's kind of on hiatus. It has been on hiatus for about three years now. It'll return one day. That happens. Um, I, yeah, I have my own web comics on agnesgorosco.com. You could check them out there. They're kind of on pause mode for an unknown amount of time because of working for DC and My Little Ponies. So, um, sorry, but you could check them out there. You could read them. They just kind of end a little abruptly, and I'm sorry. I don't know how I forgot to mention My Little Pony. Oh, yeah. I work on My Little Pony, too. So, lots of cute I love properties. My Little Pony, I like guys. drawing cute things. Do you have a favorite My Little Pony? Pinkie Pie, because she's just crazy. All right. I think that's why I like Harley, because Harley's crazy. Pinkie Pie, I think I, I, think I have a theme here for very bouncy <gasps> characters. Crossover. Just, just go like this. <laughs> All right, questions, anybody? No? Is everybody feeling okay? It's Saturday, right? Is today Saturday? Today is Saturday. Oh my it does goodness. feel like it is Sunday, Comic Con, though. guys. Is everyone getting a little sleep? A little bit? I didn't get any sleep. You have a question? Sure, let me come over to you. Where do you get most of your basis for your creativity? Where, what drove you to go to, to, draw, to come from? To do comics, what drove you to that way in art? I like the storytelling medium. I like comic books because I, I, the problem with animation is I lose interest in things quite quickly. But when you're telling a story in a comic book form, each panel is different. And you have to think about the sequence. Not only do you think about the sequence on the one page, you think about the sequence from page to page to page. And I think I find that part very interesting. So it, it gets me hooked. And it's really always like a new problem to solve with each issue because I want to make sure that I give you a reason to turn the page. I want to give you a reason to keep turning the pages and I think that's why I like comics as a medium because it is a very interesting challenge and each issue brings a new challenge and right now the digital first is t 10 pages get launched every two weeks so I get submitted 10 pages and I want to make sure that when that 10th page is drawn you want to wait the two weeks for the next issue and that is a fun challenge to take on. Great question, thank you. Uh, I have a question. Yeah. What happens, um, I have issues with, with shadows. What happens um, if you go too dark? Um, I know in watercolor, yeah, you're in trouble. Actually, the nice thing about watercolors, you can lighten it to a point if you act quick. So if it's still a little damp, grab your paper towel and just very quickly wet it, dab it. If you over dab it, you'll ruin the paper. So you have to be really careful with it. But if you act quick, you could lighten it to a point. But once it dries, if you're too dark, then you're kind of like, yeah, you can't really do too much. And maybe you just start a new picture at that point. But act quick. You could save it. And you used, you didn't use black for the shadow. No, no. I never use black. It's actually, um, you got to think about the color wheel when you color, especially mm -hmm. with watercolors. And opposite colors make really good shadow colors because opposite colors draw the colors back. So oh. a lot of the time you mix, so like if you're working with a lot of reds, you might mix a little bit of green into the shadows and it'll push it back. You never actually want to use black for the shadows or else you'll just be painting with mud and it'll end up looking like mud instead of actual shadow colors. Well, that explains a lot of my work. Okay. I yeah. got it. Thank you. Yeah. Avoid, <laughs> avo avoid using black. Don't use black for the lines. Unless you want a character it is like black and yeah. like a black cat, then maybe you want to go black. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. That was good pointers for me. How's everyone doing? I know I keep checking in on you guys, but I think you're all like just snoozing. Is Does everyone you getting all their exclusives today? I like I, I, I like watch the line. I'm always here like first thing in the morning because I like watching all the people <laughs> when the doors first open and all you hear is no running, no running in the hall. And it's like the most amusing thing for me. It's so cute watching everyone. So then I wonder what exclusives people end up getting because they're in quite a hurry, hurry first thing in the morning. Yeah, they're crazy. All right, let's do this trivia question. 
I think, let's see, let's decide. What is, what was the, her favorite character to draw? That hand I saw first. Harley Quinn. Yeah. yeah. It was Harley Quinn. You get like two fingerprints with this too, so <laughs> please All right, let's don't do a final me. round of applause, please. Hey. Thank you guys for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your convention.